Um, I'm free for questions if you want to ask a couple questions if you'd like. So one, hold on, I just have to say one thing. Dr. Roll's mother is 91 years old. She has no osteoporosis, zero. She, for the past- 25 years. 25 years, woke up every day and took a protein shake from Standard Process. And supplements. And a little thing called bone pack and, and a general, general health pack. pack. Now, she was living in a controlled environment where she could control the choices that she made, right? So now, she's in a controlled situation where they control. Guess what she's having now instead of that final whole food protein shake? Guess what she loves? Pancakes. <laughs> the Pancakes. All American diet. Sure. She has fried potatoes, bacon, and something else every day. And she goes, oh, that's my favorite meal of the day. And I'll share with you why. Because Dr. Roll's father made that as a love language to them when they went out on ski trips. They would all go and come to the motorhome and all have fried potatoes. <laughs> and they're not even like poached eggs. They're like fried eggs in the bacon fat. <laughs> I can't have fat use that. <laughs> oh, yeah. But the, still, we have, we have a very good example of a woman who has no osteoporosis at the age of 91. Miracle. Hands off the tree. Yeah. She's a fighter. She's a She's had five fractures in the last five years. She's fractured her spine, she's fractured her hip, she's fractured her ribs twice, and the woman just keeps coming up from it. I thought for sure she'd be gone. But she keeps coming up from it, and the other, the other day I went over there and we talked about activity, right? How important it is for the brain, right? And she's like getting used to her wheelchair. I said, it ain't gonna happen, I can't, not on my watch, you know? And uh, I couldn't, and her brain's not clear enough to, to think about, to tell the people to get her to walk, right? But she seen, I'm watching her, she seems to be able to move. So you know what, I'm gonna take the little chair away to use the walker. You know, and now she's like everywhere on a walker. <laughs> she's just a yeah. horse, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and but a lot of that comes from stock, of course. Um, she's got that German stock, but she's got that love for life, she has that love for the Lord. She's also really tended to her nutrition as far as supplements. She's taken them for 35 plus years, you know, so. Mm -hmm. Questions, you got a question? Um, mine is just completely left field. Go ahead. Um, my dad died of something they said was really rare. It was called amyloidosis. Amyloidosis. Yeah. Is that having to do with Alzheimer? Amyloidosis is a uh, autoimmune condition. I'd have to research it more clearly for you, but uh, uh, the, some of the tissues of the brain do start to harden. It's like a it's like a connective tissue disorder. Okay. Is that issue? <laughs> he couldn't keep right. anything down for several months before he died. All right, so first of all, I have to share with you all. You're welcome to leave, okay, at any time, okay? But you get me going, I'm gonna talk a little bit, okay? So, uh, autoimmune disease, okay? That's what we're talking about, right? Do you know that autoimmune disease is really, truly, really one condition? It's just that it depends upon what part of your body is being affected when they give it a name, okay? Now, Dr. Royal Lee, the founder of Standard Process, the company I utilized for their supplements, was a brilliant man. In the 1940s, he talked about autoimmune, autoimmune disease long before it ever became in the mainstream medical environment. He was talking about it because he actually created a thing called a PMG. PMG is simply a, what's called a protomorphogen without being too technical. It's amazing. So here's how you understand. First of all, autoimmune disease is what? Your body attacking itself. Exactly. Mm -hmm. right. What's that involve? No. Inflammation and the immune system. Mm -hmm. Right? Attacking what? Yeah. Joints and rheumatoid arthritis. Thyroid and Hashimoto's. Okay. <coughs> brain, I don't know the name of the brain one, but that's the idea. So there are tissues that are being attacked by your body's own immune system. That is an autoimmune disorder. Okay. It's my belief that it all comes from the same source. Okay. Now that might be a little simplified, but I think it's really in many ways true. Um, so he developed a, and to understand that source, it, again it's like 
Well, if you have an autoimmune disease, what are you going to do? We didn't talk about this tonight, but the drugs for Alzheimer's don't work. They don't work. They actually made the condition worse. Okay, that's Dr. Perlmutter, one of the most fabulous neuroscientists around. So they don't work. So if you have a, uh, an autoimmune disease, what are you going to do? Are you going to take a drug? You could. Okay. Well, I believe you go to the foundational. Okay. Get your gut working properly. Get your body working properly. Get yourself exercising. Get your body as healthy as you can. And I believe in most people's cases, if you did that long ago, 20, 30, 40 years ago, you would never develop it in the first place. Some people will have more propensity or ten tendency or even a genetic inclination towards that type of disease. So I'm not ruling that out. Not that it's not that simple. But for the most part, you are right in your own death sentence in reference to how you'll live your life. And I mean, that might be a hard part. You're right in your own you know, higher risk of developing those types of problems when you do that. And it's not 100%, but it's big. Okay? So the protomorphogen is, is, is amazing because if the autoimmune disease is a part of your body that's going to be attacked by your immune system, that creates a problem, right? So what do we know in the NFL players? Concussion, right? Mm -hmm. Terrible brain trauma, right? Mm -hmm. And what have we learned about that? Have you ever seen the movie Concussion? Okay, you'll learn about that. But what, do you know, what has happened to all these amazing NFL players? Some of which are very intelligent men. Okay? Mm -hmm. Got crazy, mm -hmm. right? Suicidal. Are you aware of that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's from brain trauma. Okay. And what happened was there was so much brain trauma, so much concussion. Understand? It's important to understand physiology a little bit. So the brain gets hammered, what's that create? Again, think simple. Trauma, right? What's that create? Dead cells, right? Cells die, where do they have to go? Well, if it's in the brain, it's brain cells dying, they gotta go somewhere, they gotta go in the bloodstream, okay? Now you got junk, you got like junk in the bloodstream. What's the body have to do? Has to get rid of it. How's it do that? What system does it use? That's the job of the immune system. The inflammatory process is immune function for the purpose of repair. So it'll attack those proteins and put them in a form so it can move them through the liver and through the kidneys and get them out of your body. Okay? So that trauma now has been resolved. So the brain can then start to heal, do its thing, right? What happens if you have too much trauma? Too much protein in the blood. Too much brain protein, dead brain protein in the blood. Body's trying to collect it, trying to get rid of it, right? Can't get it all out. So then what happens? Well, then the, the, the immune system is on hyper alert. And now it's sensitized towards brain protein. So now your own immune system starts attacking not just the dead cells in your blood, but also the brain itself. And that's how you create an autoimmune disease, okay, in that situation. So the PMG comes in here. Royal Lee discovered if you take the DNA, the actual template of that protein, from that tissue, in this case the brain, and you put that in a tablet called a PMG, which is a vitamin, you can actually take that into your body. You take that into your body, and guess what happens? Now that immune system, instead of attacking the brain, starts attacking that vitamin. You know, you know, you know those, uh, those uh, pilots, you know, that fly like the Top Gun, right? The, this type of thing? The heat-seeking missiles, like after that jet, right? Mm -hmm. right? So what's that pilot do? What's Tom Cruise do? He's turning left, right? He's turning right, and his missile's right up on his butt. He's gonna get killed, right? And what's he do at the last minute? He shoots out those flares, mm -hmm. right? Decoy. Mm -hmm. And he takes off this way, the missile goes this way, <laughs> blows up. Saves the day, right? He's still alive. Mm -hmm. That's how the PMG works. It's like a decoy. So the immune system's now hitting that decoy. So if the immune system's hitting the decoy, and you're taking it every day in your body, and you have that supply in your body, what happens to your brain? What's not happening to your brain? It's not getting hit by your immune system all the time. But your brain gives your brain the ability to what? Heal. Rest and heal. So then you have to give proper nutrients for support. That's a, my PMG lecture right there. <laughs> to show you how you can, through supplements, allow an organ, and you asked the question about adrenals, okay, but we use adrenal PMG for that reason. 
so that the body can stop hitting that adrenal so it can start to heal. They also had an example of a, um, of a guy who went on stage at this big chiropractic seminar and he said that his whole head felt like it was just filled with fog. And then he went and he got a series of adjustments and he said he was like a new person and that those adjustments cleared all of that pressure out of his head and that they did, I think, a scan and they could see, they showed the scan of before and after. Based on what we're talking to tonight, yeah. you can see how that would happen. I had a really, really fun experience the other day taking care of a gentleman. He was coming in, he is coming in for a drop foot. Drop foot comes from sciatica. That's when you have sciatica so bad that there's pressure on the nerve and you lose the strength of your foot. And so your foot is, you can't lift it up anymore. So it's called a drop foot. So we're treating him for his leg, right? On the second day of seeing him, he says, Dr. Rawls. He says, what? I can't I tell you what happened. I woke up in the morning He's like dealing with his leg thing, right? So I think he's going to tell me about his leg. I'm, I'm, I'm in the kitchen, and I had to look up. I looked up. I want to get something off the refrigerator. So I went up to reach for it. And then I looked. I go, I need to check my arm. And he goes like this. I go, well, why is that a big deal? He didn't even tell me about his shoulder. He had a frozen shoulder for a year and a half prior to seeing me. He never even talked to me about it. His arm, he couldn't raise it more than this. I said, Dr. Rolls, look, look. I mean, he's excited, okay? I had no clue, you know? And the reason why I did that was why. I didn't even touch his shoulder. I didn't treat his hand. I didn't treat his elbow. I didn't treat his shoulder. All I did was adjust his spine. How does the brain know where your arm is at? And how does he get from here to here? If you have a subluxation in your spine, might it disturb the message making it difficult for him to activate the muscles to bring it up to here. That's exactly what happened. The subluxation is in the cervical spine, cleared. His brain was able to understand where the muscles had to fire in a proper way to bring it up. It was just a muscle dysfunction because his brain wasn't able to tell his arm what to do. It was not a shoulder injury. Wow. Crazy. But it shows you how the brain and body works. And that's where you really start to embrace the truth about chiropractic. Because if you understand the truth about chiropractic, everybody would get adjusted. Because it's not for pain. It is for pain. It's great for pain. But that's not the purpose. You want to get the brain and body connected. So if you have no pain, once a month, get adjusted. Because it just dials in your nervous system. So. Thank you for coming, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you next month.